Hi everyone, this is Kamal. Welcome back to Video Pro Guide Tutorial. In this series, we will walk you through how to create stunning video with Video Pro Flagger. Make sure you check out the link in the description box down below to download the software for free. Alright, so now let's get the video started. In this video, I'm gonna introduce the main interface of Video Pro Flagger. Thanks to the really straightforward and self-explained UI design, even a beginner can quickly master how to use it and start edit. The Hollow Wear Acceleration Panel only pops up when the first time you launch the program. It's for detecting whether you can use GPU acceleration to get a more smooth, speedy, and stable editing experience and requiring no manual adjustments. It will automatically enable GPU acceleration with the best settings. Next, it will ask you to create a new project. In this panel, you can adjust the project name, select a location, and choose a target resolution and frame rate. After completing the settings, hit New Project to enter the main interface. In Video Prog Flagger, the editing interface is composed of six main panels. Let's have a look by turn. Panel 1 Video Prog Flagger Menu. Video Prog Flagger Menu appears at the top of the screen. It's for helping you access some commonly used features. Hit the drop down button, you can find these six project options. Click the new project button if you want to create a new project. Choose open project to open another project file. If you just want to save the current project, select C project or C project S. Hit the archive project, it will pump up the panel to let you archive the project. To close the current project, simply hit Close Project. These three buttons followed by are for export. Hit the Export button will lead you to the Export Settings panel. Under the Formal menu, you can find the available output formats. If you select the Export Video button, then you will save the outcome as an MP4 or MKV file. Hit the Export Audio. You're going to receive the outcome as an MP3, M4A, or FLAC file. Hit the Import Files. You can then browse your local folders and select the media files for import. Below, we have the Edit button. It includes some options for making the basic edits. You can also find these options on the timeline and the toolbar. The View button includes the options to play or pause the video and navigate the previous or next frame. If you need any help when using the program, just hit the options of the Help button. If you want to select the language settings for the software, choose the corresponding language option under the Language button. Click on Settings will lead you to the Preference Settings tab. To check the keyboard shortcuts list, select the shortcuts button. You can hit about to check the current version, update date, license, and etc. And hit check for update to get the latest updates available for you. Panel 2 Media Library The media library under the projects menu is for managing the source media clips. The first section collects the source media files. You can add various media files from your computer or external devices to there. They can be video, image, audio, and the subtitle files. You can use the plus button to add a new content for each panel. You can also right-click a file and open it in the Explore, Play the Clip, or Delete it. Next to the Media Library panel, you can find a wide variety of preset titles, effects, and transitions. The Video Proc Flagger team is adding more cool somatic and stylish presets. Last, there is the plus button you can use to add a new content for each panel, or hit the Matter button to delete a specific content. 
enter the file name and you can fast locate the wanted file. Hit this button to adjust the view of the thumbnail. Hit this button to define how you sort the clips by. Or hit this to hide the entire media library panel. Panel 3 Preview Window The preview panel is placed at the center of the main interface. With that, you can preview source files on the media library. It also lets you preview the edited results on the real time. You can select the detach button to detach the preview window for previewing on any corners of the current or another screen. You can also hit this button to preview the clip in a full screen. And there are also the previous frame and the next three buttons for helping you navigate the clip precisely. Apart from the preview feature, you have a few handy tools in the preview area. For example, hit this to open a ruler. Use these tools to add guides in different colors. Hit the camera button to save the current frame as a picture. Hit the shoe or hide the layout rectangle. You can fast adjust the size and position of the clip. Panel 4 Toolbar Between the preview and the timeline panel is the toolbar. There we can find a full set of editing tools. Let's start with the two most often used tools. Split is for cutting a video into two parts. Split all will help you cut clips at the current time in all tracks. Ripple edit allows you cut a clip on the video track from the middle without leaving gaps. Select the time stretch. You can then drag the ends of the clip to increase or decrease the video speed without limit. Hit the speed button to open the speed editor sub panel where you can speed up a clip, create a speed ramp, and more. Click the crop button to open a crop sub panel in which you can crop the clips to different aspect ratios. Hit the motion button, you can open the motion editor sub panel. Herein, you can redesign the camera movement with a preset motion crop effect. Press the color button to open a color editor sub panel for adding filters, correction colors, and adding 3D LUTs. Once you select an audio clip on the timeline, you can press the audio button to navigate to the audio editor sub panel. We have made a tutorial about how to use these five tools. You can find them all on this channel. The detach tool is for helping you separate audio from a video on a video track. The record tool will let you record voiceover from the audio recording devices. You can find the recorded audio clip on the media library. If you want to add or edit the text, hit text. Assume you need to convert audio to text, hit extractor. Last, we have these two handy buttons. The first one is for changing the video parameters. Hit this to enter a new panel. Herein, you can adjust the project settings. The next one is Export. Select this. You can quickly open up the Export Settings panel. Panel 5 Timeline The panel on the bottom is a timeline. By default, there are 5 timeline tracks. There are Video, Overlay, Effect, audio and subtitle tracks. On the left of each track, you have a small log button to help you fast log the corresponding track. You can find a small value icon for every video and audio track. It's for fastly muting the audio. Except for the audio track, every track comes with an eye icon, which can make the corresponding track uneditable and invisible. When making the edits, you can find the plus button on the far left of the track to add new tracks. 
press the bin icon, you can delete the corresponding track. You can also use this button to add a new tracks or delete empty tracks flexibly. The lock icon next to it is for locking the entire timeline. When there are lots of clips and elements on the timeline, you can come over to its top right and use a slider to adjust the view of the timeline. Or choose fit size to quickly fit the timeline contents into the available window size. In addition, if you want to know more about the timeline, just click on the card to watch the tutorial for that. Panel 6 Inspector On the right side of the preview panel, we have the Inspector panel. It's composed of two sections. The first section shows the media information of the selected clip on the timeline. The second section offers a few tools that you can use to edit the various clips. Based on the type of the selected clip, you can find different editing options in the inspector panel. We want to edit the clips on the video track, apart from making the basic adjustments. Herein, you can quickly reverse the clip. Correct fisheye in one click. Remove image noise from video. And when editing clips on the overlay track, you can use a chroma key feature to fast key out the background. Apply the blend mode of the composting feature to make this creative effect. Surely, there are also unique editing options for tweaking the clips on the audio track, effect track, and subtitle track. Alright, now you reached the end of today's video about the interface of VideoProc Flagger. I think I've got it. Don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe if you haven't yet. We will see you in our next Sky tutorial. Hope you enjoy. Bye.